Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This little guy's Popeye, and Amelia is just sleeping off to your side. You might see her while we fly this drone. Uh, we're the RC Sailors, and welcome to our RC family. Right now, I feel like I'm on a mission, and that's because Christmas is around the corner, and what better time to buy someone, or yourself, RC stuff than Christmas time, or just the holidays if you're not a Christmas celebrator, but a lot of you watching are, and so I know a lot of you guys rely on us and our channel to find the perfect Christmas gift. Again, for other people or maybe for you. And every year we try to find you guys some good stuff, but we don't really come out and address it and say, let's hit this from now till Christmas time. Let's find some good deals and some good stuff. But I think that's what I wanna do. I think I'm on a mission. I wanna get you guys some good Christmas stuff, hopefully find some good deals and Remember, we're doing the giving tree and we need you guys to pitch in for that. If you've donated already, thank you so much. Uh, but if you have just been waiting, maybe till payday, maybe to make sure you're okay without drinking that Mountain Dew for the week, uh, just know that we need you. We really, really need you. We have that $5,000 goal and we cannot do it without you. Papa, Papa wants needs to play. you too. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to play. He's got his favorite toy there his like five-year-old little toy, fill it with peanut butter and go, go, go. So anyway, today we have a little Drocon drone. Now this is a transmitter, but check this out. You lift up this panel and there's the drone. Pretty cool. I mean, that is a small drone. Uh, it unfolds just a little bit. We've seen stuff about like this before, but it's been a while. We usually don't do this kind of stuff on our channel until, well, this time of year. Today it's very cold, it's very windy. Last night we had snow on the grass. Crazy, when we woke up there's snow on the grass, so wild. When that unfolds, it's a little bit bigger of drone, almost doubles in size. It looks good, but this is a perfect drone to fly indoors. Why? Because of the size, really. It also comes with little prop guards. The prop guards, if you're new to flying, are definitely gonna come in very handy. They just pop right on and they snap off the same way, nice and bendy and durable. So they'll take some hits, but they won't hurt your walls or anything. Now don't hit your expensive china with that, but you know, that's gonna be pretty bouncy and uh, bounce off walls. So I'll probably fly with those on today because I'd say a lot of people buying this will too. Now, if you're interested in this, we'll have it linked in the description box below. It comes in under $40. For an Amazon drone ready to fly, that's not too bad. The real kicker is going to be, does it perform well? Is it really worth that $40? So that's what we're gonna test out today. Let's take a closer look and see what else comes in this box right here, little tiny box. And uh, then like I said, we'll fly it for you. Three more prop guards in there and a little Phillips screwdriver. That comes in handy to take the little panel off the back of the transmitter. It just takes a couple AAA batteries. Then here is our charge cable. This guy is what charges the drone. It has a rechargeable battery built in. Uh, and that's probably the biggest downside to this drone is the fact that the battery is built in. Now to a person that's new into this stuff, they probably won't care. They'll say, well, that's pretty cool. That's built in rechargeable battery. But to those of us that have been in the hobby for a while, you'll know that we'd like to be able to pop out that little $3 battery, pop a new one in and keep flying because most likely this will probably fly for about, about five minutes. This does have an on off switch, nice no lights, camera. no camera, just a very bright blue light. Okay. Good question. Here in this bag, we have four spare props. Sometimes you'll lose those, especially when they're so small, so it's nice that you have four spares. And then the transmitter itself, it has the drone compartment in here. It works well. The drone is altitude hold, and I know that because both of these joysticks or gimbals are spring loaded. They're popping right back to center every time. So the drone itself is gonna hover you know, without you having to mess with the throttle very much. And then we have some things like takeoff landing, spin, and uh, some trimming functions and rates. So let's fly this, see how it does while Amelia is sleeping. Uh, and then Popeye's gonna start barking. Popeye will chase it. <laughs> it's been a year since we've done any of these indoor videos and I'm kind of excited to see if there are any advancements with this technology. Oh, we haven't really flown inside much at all. So I did test this. And, and I we're thought, flying upstairs. Upstairs, yeah. This downstairs is. It's a mess. Mess. It's a mess. <laughs> Welcome to the RC Sailors. Now, turn the drone on first, power the transmitter on. It automatically did the binding process. So no more th <laughs> throttle down. There's Popeye. Now, let's hit the takeoff landing button and let Popeye have a little fun. 
then we'll talk about the drink. <laughs> Maybe we have to start the motors and then hit it. How's the flying? Okay, I trimmed it up and I'm actually hands free right now. It's flying really, really well. It has a little bit of shifting, probably because the uh, air conditioning, or not air conditioning, but the heat is on. And so that blows it around some, but really it's holding very well. I like the way it looks. I like the way it sounds, although I can kind of hear some kind of like light clicking noise. Do you hear that? Just a little. No. Really faint. No, Maybe I'm hear. turning into Batman or something. Spider-Man. Maybe I'm Drone Man. No, I think there's another guy named Drone Man. I think he calls himself like Drone Man Reviewer of All Drones or something like that. <laughs> he watches our videos. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoa, well, yeah, it's, yeah. So it's very agile. Even in this flight mode, it's uh, pretty snappy. The altitude hold works extremely well. It's fun to fly. I kind of forgot about flying indoors, but you know what? We got like a long time of flying indoors ahead of us. So Show them your new drone obstacle. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, <laughs> that new drone obstacle course, guys. You ready? <laughs> this is my new drone race thing right here. <laughs> With hanging down things, yeah. Oh no. Oh, I think a prop flew off. No. <laughs> That's to, a good first attempt. I need to practice some. <laughs> no, no prop flew off. Oh, okay. Prop guards saved me. <laughs> Just throttled down All when right. that happened. I think that was a good test of that. You so, need to try again. I don't know. I have more features to test, but okay. trust me, we have more micro drones. We will progress through that gate. <laughs> so we start the motors by pulling both sticks down and out opposite directions. Then you press auto takeoff. We did it the last time. There we go. <laughs> All right, Popeye, that's enough. Now we have spin and revolve, so I'm going to hit that. Oh boy. Now when I give it input, it stops, so spin, revolve. All that is doing, guys, sorry about that. All that's doing is giving it full yaw, full spinning, but in a high rate, automatically. It's kind of cool if you don't know how to do that yourself, you just hit the button and it spins. It does drift a little, so you just give it a little input, and then the drone, oh, sorry, opposite directions, stops that. Let's see, we have speed and stun. So let's hit stun. I'm sure it's just flips. Oh, wow. try again. I missed that one. It gained a lot of altitude, so let's do it one more time. You ready? Yep. Do yeah. it again. So okay. what it does, let's do right where it likes to hover, hit the flip button, give it an input, it goes up, couple feet at least, does the flip and then settles back down. It's doing okay, it's doing okay. Now we have rates. There's two. Much faster at spinning and flying. And three rates probably means we're gonna have some crazy yaw or rotation. Yep, just like this spin button. But we can also fly a lot faster, way faster. I just faster. realized you put all the prop guards on it. Yes. And I know a lot of times I don't do that because I've got my training wheels off. But I don't know, maybe it's because we have a baby now. I don't know. I put the prop guards on. A lot of times- fly in front of the baby, but not over the baby. Okay. They want to one. see her. Great one. I want to see her nice on Nice and video. slow. All right, um, that's close right enough. That is not over her, just so you know. It just is in front of her. It looks, though, on my camera, it looks like it's right on top of her, but it's nowhere near, see? He lowered it. <laughs> there she is. She's sleeping. She likes RC stuff. That's so and awesome. She's sleeping through right Popeye, now. so that's pretty good. And we have one key return in headless mode. Let's try headless mode to see if that works. So blinking light. Let's go up to the highest. Well, let's highest rate. Spin it. Push away. Okay, headless mode works. Very nice. 
I can fly this around while spinning in the highest rate. Nice. Yep, that's a really good headless mode. I like it. It's cool. <laughs> okay, out of the high rate. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm in headless mode. No, oh, oh. I forgot. Two crashes in one video. What a rookie. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I was in headless mode, but yeah. <laughs> we gotta get back into flying inside. Yeah, I gotta knock the rust off. Let's see if I can headless mode, turn that off, my lights go solid, Let's start the motors, auto take off. I think what it's doing when, when I have to hit that twice. Bye bye. You get him, buddy. Bye bye. I'm not, I'm not sure. Bye bye. I'm not sure why it does that, where I have to hit that twice. Maybe because I crashed and it really thinks I'm doing auto landing. So it would be that, and then start it, auto take off. So yeah, that's okay. probably why. This you is actually a really nice little drone. If you want a good indoor drone and you want to buy from Amazon, this is nice. Yeah, even Popeye likes this. It flies <laughs> really well, it's hovering nicely. Good job, buddy. He's missed the inside drones, yes. I think. Did you forget how to chase these? Nope. Nope. It's a good drone, and it has a good flight time. I would say the biggest flaw of this drone is that it does not come with a removable battery. The battery is internal, so you have to charge when you're done flying. Let it cool off for five minutes, then recharge it, then, then you can fly it. But I think the biggest pro of this one is that it's on Amazon. Yes, you're gonna pay a little bit more for. But not much. Not a lot more, but a little more for the fact that it's on Amazon. Two day shipping with Depends Prime. Depends if I it's Prime. I, I, I think remember. it's Prime. Okay, then, then that, that's kind of what you're paying for. Has a little on off switch that I like. Has little rubber footies. So when you land on something like this table, it'll land pretty smoothly and kind of like grip to it. Watch this. Oh, nope. Ah. Spoke too soon. Resting. Bad, bad piloting there. Like I said, a real smooth landing where it'll stick to it and be perfect. <laughs> My ball. <laughs> no scratches, I'm guessing. I didn't look close enough. We'll look at that later. <laughs> Is that Popeye's chomping down? <laughs> yeah, he missed his little drone buddies. I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised at this flight time. I was uh, expecting a much shorter flight time. I don't know if they've got to see this carpet yet. There we go. Okay, the lights start to blink and the transmitter beeps at the exact same time when the battery's low. I should have been hitting that auto land button. There you have it, little drone. This is the Drocon. DC65. We'll have a link in the description box below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. I think this is a really good beginner friendly drone. Uh, biggest downside and probably my only flaw I can really honestly say uh, is the built-in battery. To some you might actually like that. To most you probably won't because most people like to be able to pull that battery out. That was Amelia. I'm not... <laughs> Uh, pull the battery out, put a newly charged battery in, you know, charge up your batteries throughout the day. Um, but this guy, it's not proprietary or anything, it just has this standard little connection type. But overall, good introduction back into micro drones, moving into uh, cold weather, windy weather. To those of you around the world that watch our videos that are just now getting into warm weather, I hate you. I really do. But thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, this is this is fun. Micro drones definitely have their time and place. Also, a lot of you guys watching our videos are very interested in the Hubson Zeno. Something like this would actually pair very nicely with the Hubson Zeno because I think a lot of our pilots out there buying the Zeno are going to be new pilots. And although you can rely heavily on that GPS and really nice flight functionality uh, with the app and stuff. Someday that might fail. It happens. And if you lose satellite connection and you're in control of the drone, 
without headless mode on and without a return to home GPS mode, it'd be really nice to know how to fly that drone without relying on that technology. Plus, you might just want to get into race drones or something. This is a good little guy to step into that. Also, it would make a great Christmas present. You can buy it on Amazon, get it here to your house before Christmas hits, put it aside, little Jimmy's done. You know, that's nice. It's under $40, yep. And uh, good little, good little drone. Just wanted to cover it thoroughly. Abby's giving me the cue. Nate, you're talking too much. Guys, I'll have it linked in the description box below. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!